Okay, so your first step in creating triggered text is deciding what's going to trigger it. So in this example, I am going to bring in an image and then we'll roll over that image and that's what's going to trigger the text. So we need to create buttons. Let's start by bringing in the image. I'll bring in this asterisk, okay? And now let's bring in some text, okay? Okay, now your next step is to select all of this, right? Go up to window and now go to interactive. Okay, go to buttons and forms. All right, and we're just going to identify this as a button. Okay, now, next thing you wanna do is click just on the asterisk. Let's go ahead and name that one asterisk, okay? Event is going to be on rollover because that's when we want uh, that's when we want the text below it to appear. Okay, um, we're going to switch this over to rollover down here. We don't need it to remain hidden until triggered. And let's go up to here to actions plus. And now we need to show or hide buttons and forms. Okay, so this is where you decide what's visible and what's not. Don't leave these at just X's because that's going to leave it at the uh, default of visible. So the asterisk, right, we want to remain visible. And when we roll over the asterisk, we want button eight or what we're about to uh, title, right, asterisk text to become visible. Okay, so now let's click on our other box here, the asterisk text. So let's go ahead and label that. Now, I'm just going to leave this at on rollover uh, because we have to choose something, right? But we're not actually triggering anything. And that's fine because we're not going to add an action for it to trigger. However, we are going to go ahead and set the visibility for this, right? So its default is uh, to where it's not visible, right? but the asterisk is, okay? And we'll leave this appearance at normal. And here's another key option, hidden until triggered. So you notice the difference between these, right? If you click on the asterisk, both options in visibility are on. It's not uh, hidden until triggered. You click on the text, it is hidden until triggered and the asterisk is not marked as visible. Okay, so in order to test whether this is going to work or not, you need to get to the bottom of your buttons and forms window here, and then click on this tiny little preview spread icon here. Okay. And if you'll notice, that gives you a cool little preview. And if I hover over the asterisk, then you see that all of my text pops up. You can do this obviously in your infographic or any other project that you want to work on in InDesign. Enjoy!